Hey guys, so I was lucky enough to get a press screener for the two hour premiere of Marvel's Cloak and Dagger season two. Uh, if you don't know, I absolutely loved the first season. I got to interview some of the cast. That video is on here, so you'll have to check that out. But uh, yeah, it was really good. You guys, okay, season two premieres April 4th. Uh, so this is gonna be totally spoiler free. I will have a spoiler one up for you on April 4th, though, don't you worry. Uh, but So here's my spoiler-free review of the two-hour season premiere event of Marvel's Cloak & Dagger Season 2. I'm Tessa with MamasGeeky.com. So this season basically picks up exactly where we left off. And by exactly where we left off, I mean it's, I think they said it's eight months in the future, but you know, nothing major has happened. Um, Tandy, we see her, she's actually taking ballet again. Um, she's working with her mom a lot. She's going to support groups with her mother, which I think is great because that's one of the act, one of the actresses that I interviewed was Tandy's mother, and she's amazing. She's amazing. She's so talented and I love her and I think we're going to see a lot of her this season which I'm really really super excited about. Um, so they're working together through therapy but Tandy does, uh, she gets a little interested in somebody's story and I don't want to give a lot of spoilers but she definitely sticks herself right in this girl's business and uh, what she does might have been really cool and awesome and we'll talk about it in my spoiler review but I really loved seeing Tandy like this. I really, truly did. Um, but again, she's back in ballet. And uh, I just, I really enjoyed what I've seen of her in these first two episodes. I really loved her. Um, Tyrone, what's he doing, guys? The last time we saw him, he was wanted for murder, which he didn't commit. And he's, you know, run away. He's run away. He's left his family. Um, where is he? He's living in the church. Uh, the church that Tandy lived in for oh so long in season one. So that is where Tyrone is. So he's living in the church and he's practicing his teleportation, right? He is teleporting. He's practicing it a lot. You see him hopping from here to there all over the place, uh, which is really awesome. I love seeing him hone his skills. It's really cool. Could come in use in the in the future. Could come in use in the MCU if he wants to take down Thanos, right? It could definitely come in use taking down Thanos. Um, but yeah, I loved seeing him. Um, and what else is he doing, guys? What else do you think he's doing? He's not just hanging out at the church. Oh no, he's going to check on all of his family and friends that he that he left. So he is checking on his parents a lot. Um, you'll see he'll teleport himself outside of their house and he'll be looking and he'll just be sitting and watching. Uh, he is also uh, checking on his girlfriend there, ex-girlfriend, whatever you want to call her. He's checking on her um, every now and then. Make, he's actually catching up and making sure she's not with other guys. Like he'll see her with a guy and he'll be like... Mm. <laughs> it's really funny. Um, <laughs> but again, no spoilers, no spoilers. So he's been doing that. He's also been trying to take down drug lords, guys. He's been following around drug people. He's working with, who do you think he's working with? Bridget O'Reilly, Detective Bridget O'Reilly. She's back, right? At the very end of season one, we saw her crawling out of the water. She might have been walking out of the water. But uh, she's definitely mayhem, right? From the comic books, mayhem, which I have a whole article on my website, mamasgeeky.com, about who mayhem is from the comics. So you definitely want to check that out if you don't know. Um, but yeah, we see Bridget and she is just, she's she's practicing shooting. That's the first thing we see of her is poo, 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 poo. That's not really how you shoot a gun. It's more like the, whatever. She's practicing at a shooting range. Uh, she's talking about how her shoulder has full rotation back. So she is back on the force. And uh, yeah, she is back on the force. And that's that's really all I want to say about that. Because there's some crazy stuff going on with her. Especially the second half of the second part of the two-hour premiere. So basically the second half of, se of episode two of season two is crazy. It's crazy crazy. It's crazy. And I can't tell you anything because this is spoiler free and you're just going to have to watch it in a week and a half, uh, and, or check out my spoiler review. That's going to come out right after the, the series premiere ends. But, uh, yeah, it's nuts. And it made me go, Oh, this is back. I mean, the music is still phenomenal. Of course, the acting is amazing, 
But uh, I am really looking forward to episode three. Hopefully I get a press screener so I can check it out before it airs. Um, and of course, I'll keep you guys updated on all of that. But again, if you have not seen my interview with the cast, you can either check it out here or I do have um, a written version up at mamasgeeky.com. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at mamasgeeky. And uh, yeah, be sure to comment below. Let me know, did you love the first season? Have you not seen it yet? If not, you guys, you have plenty of time to binge watch before uh, before it premieres on April 4th. So you're definitely going to want to check that out. It's on Freeform. Um, it is amazing. If you're a Marvel fan, you need to watch it. Um, there's some links with like Daredevil and stuff in there. It's really cool. Um, yeah, so you're going to have to check it out. And I can't tell you more besides the fact that I loved it. I loved it and I was instantly hooked again. I was right back in it. I was right back in it where I was at the season finale um, of season one. So um, be sure to subscribe. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And again, comment all the things Cloak and Dagger below. And uh, yeah, thanks for taking the time to watch this, guys.